What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 21 Fantasy Draft Franchise Online Gameplay. So today, coming in week two, uh, last week we just beat the Bills, a top team in the AFC. We beat them by seven points, and now we're going up against the New England Patriots, who last season only finished with five wins, I believe, but just before this game, I matched up against the same guy in a different league, and Ugly Ugg beat me by, I believe, two points. So... That scared me a little bit, but I know that I know how to use this team, and that was just a warm-up game. So let's get into this one, because I know the Patriots weren't too hot last year in MML, and on the first play, we go to our undrafted free agent, uh, rookie uh, fullback, and now on second down, we're going to Dalvin Cook again on the sideline. He picks up the first down, but there's a flag. Uh, last week, we had a bunch of flags. That one's roughing the pass around the Patriots, so we'll take the extra yards. Hopefully, there aren't a lot more penalties Football's just less one of the penalties, just like watching real life NFL. And John Ross again on that slant route, he gets open. Um, last week he only had two catches, but I realized that I decided to play him in the slot for this game uh, to try to use that speed better. Well, inside than the outside because he can run short routes too, and those can get open with 98 speed. And we throw a dangerous pass right there. That one should have been picked off. And we're already on a third down and three. We've only got most of our hearts on these penalties, but Ross is wide open on the sideline. He grabs that one. Uh, toe taps inbounds. We're already on the six yard line. So first down and goal. Ross motions in. He gets the touch pass and he chooks out. And man, what a play. Hopping into the end zone. And Don Ross scores his second touchdown for the Houston Texans in his career. And we get off to the first drive points. Huge for the Houston Texans. And the Patriots got to answer back on their next drive. Now they're running right at the middle, number 22. He picks up eight yards. This guy likes to run the ball a little bit, but fell off from it later in the game as we get a sack on that play. That was Charles Omenehu, the young D-lineman in a contract here, trying to prove that he's worth re-signing. But we'll still have to think about it. He's asking for a lot of money. And on third down, Jimmy G just throws that one into the dirt. Got a little bit lucky, and this punt is fielded by Tyler Lockett. He's got a weird camera angle, got a juke off, trying to make something big happen, but we still get tackled after a short gain. And now we're back on offense. A big statement defensive drive on that one. We made it very short. And now Dalvin Cook gets up the middle. And he unnecessarily spins into a tackle. And we're already past midfield again after the punt didn't get the Patriots in favorable field position. Is That's a dime on the sideline of Michael Thomas. Great throw by Banger, Baker Mayfield. Finding the open uh, soft spot in the zone coverage. Now John Ross gets another catch. I believe that was Michael Thomas. And we go to the read option. Dalvin Cook takes it up the middle. It brings up a third down and short. But now with the nickel defense on the field, that's just easy first down for Dalvin Cook. He takes a big hit, but we're staying in this game on this drive. And now coming out in the same set, we go to the end zone. That's David Njoku, and that just falls right out of his hands. He took the big hit, but still got to come down with those ones as a young superstar tight end. Got a little bit of expectations for him. So now on third down and four from the goal line, we go for Michael Thomas. Did he catch it? He was out of bounds. Uh, just couldn't toe tap in the back of the end zone on the crossing route, and we had to settle for three points. But that's all right. We're going up 10-0 on the Patriots, and they find Chris Godwin over the middle. That's his first catch of the game. He's another young superstar in this league. Now going right at the middle with their rookie running back. He gets a couple, and now they go back to the screen. He's been having a lot of the Patriots touches early in this game. He's a screen pass, and is carried out of bounds. It's a third down again, third and four. There's a running back, and he... And Walls gets only a few yards. Actually, that's Walls. Tevin Coleman has been getting lots of uh, runs in this game. But that was a failed fourth down conversion. A great play by the defense. Grady Jarrett was one of the ones up the middle. So was Quan Alexander. Now, Dalvin Cook takes that short pass. And we're passing the field yet again. It's 10-0. We're looking for a huge statement here. And Mayfield rolls out. Finds David Njoku after he releases from the block. And he picks up a first down, or at least gets very close to it. It's second down and one. And we're in field goal range, especially with our kicker, Brett Maher, 99 power. And John Ross jukes out a man. One of the underrated stats of John Ross is his juke move. He can take those short routes, of just like that one, made a move, and got 20 yards in just a flash. Gets way up the field. Now Mayfield is rolling out to his left, looking for Njoku in the end zone again. And he can hold on to this one. That's a touchdown catch. Tied in David Njoku and the Texans taking the very early big lead in this game. And the Patriots have got to do something here. Tevin Coleman gets that rush. And it's five yards. They've been rushing a lot, on, especially on first down. And 
They might have to think about passing, but that one is swatted down to the D-line. It's a third down. I don't think the Patriots have not picked up very many first downs in this game. Now they're looking for Godwin over the middle, and he gets just past the linebacker. It's completed for a first down up to midfield. Now Garoppolo drops back, this time on first down, looking deep again. That's for Godwin, and it's a pass interference on the defense. The rookie, Legereus Sneed, in his second year now, rookie in real life. And with that very high speed of Sneed's, you wouldn't think that he'd get beaten deep for the pass interference, but he does, and now... Third down and short is picked up by the rookie Wall, and now he powers straight through the linebacker and powers in for the touchdown. Great for the young rookie on the Patriots, and he brings this game back to manageable, um, putting away some fears that the Patriots wouldn't score a single point this game. Um, it's a little bit of a confidence booster for the New England Patriots, and it's 17-7, to and the uh, Texans are back on offense. And they had a deep route open. That was Ross. And on third down, uh, second down, he sacked. I, they got a uh, great D line. And now with the deep this time, John Ross again. And he's got it. John Ross caught the ball and is rushing into the end zone. No one is going to catch him. That fastest man in the league, at least top three. And he can celebrate in the end zone. He deserves it. John Ross already has his second touchdown of the game. He's starting to show flashes. Last week he only had two catches in his first game on the Texans, but look out for Ross. He's been having a huge game already. That one was a deep bomb, going to inflate his yards a little bit. And now uh, this pass is hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. Two men on either team jumped up for that one. And now Garoppolo is dropping back. They're uh, looking away to the, from the run game on this drive as they're down 17. And the pass is incomplete. Maybe it should have been a fumble. A little bit of lucky ruling, and again, the Texans' pass rush is getting to the Patriots. They haven't been able to do very much, and this punt is a good one. It's to the 23-yard line, and now the Patri uh, Texans are coming out looking deep again, but they opt for the short route. That's Dalvin Cook getting eight yards. It's great for a check down, and with 52 seconds, they're hurrying up. We want to score one more time before the half is over. Mayfield is calling his audibles with 45 seconds left. Get some crossing routes on the field. There's more play action. And he's looking deep. Looking deep, John Ross. He's wide open. And he catches hit and takes it to the end zone for his third touchdown of the first half. The third touchdown of the first half for the young John Ross. And it's time to be excited. Ross is going to be amazing for us. I know it. Um, of, of course, the duo of Thomas and Cook was amazing last year and with the addition of John Ross this offense is going to be unstoppable and Patriots is getting a little bit flustered throwing the pick and uh, John Johnson the slow man he's running the superstar safety can he get the pick six yes he can uh, the deep route was picked off and usually you don't get very big returns on that as everyone is spread out on the offense but we just had an open seam, got some great blocks, and we headed into the end zone. It's 38-7. Now Garoppolo trying to get something before half. And it's another pick. Desmond True fought the free agent, and he's running back for a touchdown. And no one's going to catch him. Desmond True fought. Takes that one all the way to the end zone. And when it rains, it pours. Wow. With a, about halfway through the second quarter, the score was 17-7. And now... The uh, Houston Texans have rocketed out to a 45 to 7 lead, and Garoppolo just has to throw that away. He needs to go into the locker room and get a pep talk from his coaches. And so now for halftime, I just want to remind you guys to like and subscribe on this video for more amazing gameplay. And on YouTube Studio, it says 81% of my viewers aren't subscribed. So what are you doing? Just click the subscribe button, ring the bell. You can undo it anytime. Uh, just support a new young YouTuber in the making. But let's get back into this game. 45-7, to the Patriots really need something if they want to think about winning this game. They've got to really put in a lot of work on this drive. And it's already second down and eight. And they want to look deep in Garoppolo. Had his man, but an overthrown pass by the 27-year-old star quarterback. And looking deep again, and that one is picked off by Legereus Sneed. He's another speedster, this time on the defense, and he gets that pick diving backwards. That was very acrobatic, and the Texans have the ball again. Now Dalvin Cook is going to get a lot of these carries because we don't want to run up the score. We're going to play it safe as we roll out, and that passes to Dalvin Cook. He makes a couple moves, juking around maybe an unnecessary spin move, and that was just showing off, I guess, uh, his abilities. 
and I would look for John Ross just trying to get him more involved. We want to get him as much XP, improve him as much as possible because he's only a star. Um, and hopefully we can just get a dev story as fast as we can. Um, a superstar would be amazing for his XP and of course the abilities. So I'm probably going to try to pump his abilities into maybe the slot so he gets some better short running and maybe run after catch ability or skills. But I don't want him to get abilities like evasive. I want if he could get route technician and route apprentice. Those are the two that Michael Thomas has and those are probably the two best you can get for a wide receiver in franchise. Because, uh, you know, Michael Thomas is open all the time, but we haven't even needed him as John Ross has taken over this game, and we did end up stalling out on a drive, and the Patriots do have the ball back. We're still playing our defense. We're not going to give him anything free. Is Rashawn Gary, he's another guy we want to improve. He turned into a superstar at the end of last season, and he's been great for us. Um, of course, the entire defensive line has been causing pressure, but Gary has been maybe the centerpiece beside um, Grady Jarrett with his superstar abilities. And now we get the ball back again. Tyler Lockett is back to our turn. And Lockett, I keep trying to shop him. No one wants to pick him up. No one wants to trade for him. And I'm going to go ahead and spoil this game. Between last game and this game, Tyler Lockett had zero catches. So I'm not looking for him. As Michael Thomas shows off his route running, he gets wide open on the sideline, avoids a man, and he's just going to trot into the end zone. Just 65 yards just like that. Uh, showing that John Ross isn't the only man on this offense. Thomas still wants to hold that spot. So, of course, 99 overall. It's hard to take that away. And now, again, looking for a receiver, and the Patriots are just flustered. Uh, that one is picked off by uh, Rashawn Evans. Another man in a contract season, and we're just going to try to run out this game as fast as we can. It's 52-7. to We make it into the fourth quarter, and Dalvin Cook is just getting these carries. Um, probably should have put in the backup running back by this point to try to not get Cook injured, but we were protecting the ball at all costs to try to not um, force any fumbles or anything and we hand off to John Ross just trying to see what he can do uh, we hand it to him twice in a row and they're both kind of locked up and it looked like they maybe should have been open and we do just settle for a field goal but Maher misses it uh, Maher has great kick power but not very good accuracy and it showed up on that play um, so still 52 to 7 we can't complain about that um, I might just go get a different kicker. I, Of course, Maher is the GOAT with his 99 power. I could maybe run two kickers on my roster and just bring in Maher when I'm kicking like 50 plus yards. But we'll see. Because that one is a little... That play, the missed field goal is a little bit nerve-wracking for games where it's going to really matter to actually make my kicks. Um, of course, I have a very tough schedule this year, so those are going to be important. Um... So leave a comment if you'd like. I'll look for a roster spot to free up because I think I'm at a full 53 roster. I'll look to see who's in free agency, the highest kick accuracy probably. Um, but I'm not even positive what the kick accuracy stat does. I think it just makes the, uh, the little bar the kick meter move slower. I think that's what it does. But we'll experiment. We'll try to look for new kickers as that was a punt dot. It didn't bring in the sound effects, but... Down to the two-yard line. Perfect punt. And it's we hit the two-minute warning in the fourth quarter. And from the four-yard line, Garoppolo drops back. And he's sacked by Charles Lemonu. The ball is recovered by the running back, but he doesn't even want to try to return it. There's some rule where it whistles you down instantly. I don't even know what it is, but it results in a safety. brings a score to 54-7. to seven. And our defense has been playing amazing. Dalvin Cook still running out the middle for first downs. And this game is over. We're at one minute. The Patriots has been a great sport throughout this game. Not calling his timeouts and not quitting the game. A lot of guys would quit in this situation. Uh, so shout out to him as we end up in this game. And so like I said earlier, like and subscribe. You don't see too many connected franchise online on YouTube. So look out for the next game. I forget who we play, but it'll be a better game. Um... And I really hope John Ross gets Offensive Player of the Week for the AFC. He finished with 211 yards, three touchdowns off seven catches. So uh, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and making it to the very end. And I'll see you next time.